Yeah. Gary, what's something we haven't talked about that you like to talk about or that you think that we have missed? You know? I think we've covered a lot of things. I mean, I, we could be on this for three days. Well, like, as, as, you know, as the self claimed greatest interviewer in the world, and then my co-host Tim and I, you know, we, we have all the questions before and that we know we want to ask. We, we knew that was going to be your answer. Right. How, oh, how do, oh, great. How do people get in touch with you, Gary? Yeah, they can go to my website, which is Coragio, C-O-U-R-A-G-I-O.com. There you go. Wow, instantly pops up. It's beautiful. And if you go there, there's a contact form. And if you want to, uh, one thing that I do offer people is I want to make sure that I'm the right coach for them. Mm-hmm. And so there's always uh, the, the initial assessment of whether I can help you from my perspective and whether you want to be helped by me from your perspective, that's about 20 minutes or so. And it's, it's free and I'll schedule them on, on this type of a platform and we can do it that way. And then we can decide after that session, if you want to move forward and that way there's a no risk at, at, at seeing if I, and if I can't help you, if you have things that, that you believe that uh, if you want to, if you want to talk to me about it and, and you tell me what your issues are and I'm not the right person, I will tell you. But- Finding the right coach is incredibly valuable. I mean, I think people underestimate that completely. Like when I'm meeting someone new, I'm like, if I don't like you, I don't want to work with you. Exactly. Like that's, that's so like, how are you expecting me to give you my A game if I don't like you? Right. <laughs> right? Yeah. If yeah. people are like, that's ridiculous. I'm like, why? Right. And the other thing is like, why would you leave uh, pitching to investors presenting in front of potential clients, getting new business. Why would you leave that up to chance? I mean, just well, yeah. Yeah. Go talk to somebody. You might learn something. And you know, the thing that uh, as we, which we know from even from a start peninsula things is that we remember all the people and all, almost all of their pitches. And we remember the one, we remember the ones that were rock stars and we remember the ones that didn't show real well and not the ones in between. Well, we, well, we do, some of them we do, but, but we're watching all that and, and we talk about it and it might've happened four years ago and we're still talking about it. So I think that whatever people, my point in saying that is that when people see you perform and hear you perform, they're going to make their minds up about you and they're going to remember what they saw and what they heard. Right. And it's, it's like, you know, good or bad, they're going to remember. So why would you want to even risk the chance of them having a less than favorable review of your performance? Well, and if you remember uh, at at, um, Rebecca's Start Peninsula as well, where she got third place, the winner was Eric McManus of Instant Teams, formerly something different that we're not going to state because I can't remember what it was. But... um, to me, as a judge that year, her performance was above and beyond everyone else's like that. And so, like, we got into the judge's room, and it was an immediate – she's first first place. It's let's move on to second and third place. Yeah. And so, like, sometimes that just happens, right? And honestly, it was probably one of the best pitches or performances ever at Start Peninsula, yeah. right? Rehearsal, knew what she wanted to do over and over and over again to get these other people who show up, and they're like, hey, I have an idea. It's going to be a billion dollar thing. And and there's nothing into it. And you're like, "Eh." and you know what about her performance that made it also really, really great. As I recall it, Um, you know, Simon Sinek and start with why Mm -hmm. her, a lot of people, when they're telling you what they do, they'll start with what and how, and they never get to the why, but in really, really uh, stunning performances or really effective and powerful performances, the why Erica's why was evident. It was. Do you remember uh, what it was? Um, her well, the why was her passion, her passion for uh, serving, for getting spouses, military, spouses, military yeah. people employed because they were a wasted resource. Well, and, and that passion, then other people see and then want to get behind themselves. The why, and that's the why. If she was doing it, and we could you could feel her passion because she knew her why, and she was willing to share it. Well, you don't get behind a moper, right? Oh, well, I want to do it. Like, no one wants to get behind me. Maybe people do, but like. She was all in, though. 
She yeah. was committed to her thing. And that's why. And still to this day, very oh, successful. Yeah. There's been moves around, have raised a ton of money. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like they, you can tell that she eat, sleep, sweats, breathes, whatever the term is, you know, instant teams and good, good on them for doing that. And good on yeah. them for, for seeing an opportunity. I remember one of the strategies I actually wrote about this in anomaly uh, was that they used events that uh, forked out money as an avenue to start the business or to grow the business. And then when they got that with $10,000 $10, at the time at Start Peninsula, they capitalized on that. And so many people don't do that or don't put in the necessary steps to do that. I mean, it's just, it's a no brainer to me, you know, if, if, if you qualify, right. apply. And so, you know, she did and she went after it and, and they won. So good for them. Yeah. 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 If, you guys are, if you guys are interested in learning more, getting that assessment from Gary, go to Karajio. Dot com just like right there on the screen gary it's been wonderful always great to see you are you one of the guys on that um beam behind the picture i am not okay but no, would you do that today would i do that today probably not that's one of those uh no scotties no <laughs> uh, uh no. <laughs> no, no, no yeah well thanks for having me on i really enjoyed it i uh i love doing these and i just again thanks thanks tim and zach for the opportunity to participate and share some thoughts and and all that so um yep i loved it it yep. was it's always a pleasure good to see you and uh at some point in the future when the world goes back to letting people see each other maybe we'll see you at an event until next time we can just do this virtual thing and it'll work just fine gary appreciate it tim always good to see you see you guys yep. next thursday peace and pain